right. <laughs> Take presentation. This is a DJ Noise mixtape presentation. 
Well, well, well. What's Figure up, man? I'd find you here, listening to. G oh, I guess it's Tupac. I thought it was gonna say R. I thought it was R. Kelly for a second. <laughs> He's going to yeah. accuse you of listening to R. Kelly by yourself. Oh, uh, well, I mean, if you're going <laughs> to. Am I right? No? I mean, yeah. What's going on, man? Where have you been? I had a final today, and now I'm drinking beers. Yeah? How did it go? I feel pretty good about it. Well, I'll drink to that. I got some fancy new beers that I actually really enjoy. <laughs> That's the first sip. What'd you get? It's uh, it's called Buku by Mother Earth Brewing Company. Oh, okay. And, uh, Never heard of them. Cool. I really like it. It's like a smaller spot. I don't know if it'd be considered a microbrew, but um, I like it. It's an Indian Pale Ale. I don't drink a lot of Fancy beers, as I call them. It's pretty fucking good. They're smooth. Yeah? Uh, do you have all the DLC for this game? What game? For Borderlands 3? Oh, no. Damn. No, I do not. That sucks. Why? Because I found this fucking loot farm, but you gotta have the DLC for it. Oh. But, well, I don't know. I guess we could probably we could probably find somewhere that doesn't require the DLC that you can do the same fucking thing. But this one is it's broken, and I'm all about finding shit that's broken. Okay. I read a thing that talked about how Biggie Smalls, like, nobody fucking liked him. He didn't have any friends or anything. Oh, really? Growing up. Yeah. Essentially, like, you know, he was just a fat guy. Nobody liked him. Until he got rich for rapping. And supposedly the whole reason that he got rich for rapping was because he was a drug dealer. And he was just like, you know, doing drug dealer things. Like, oh, well, I'm yeah, a he was man. a drug dealer. I knew that. Drug dealers have tons of friends, though. Yeah, but I guess that's really what it was. Is that somebody owed him money, and their way of fucking basically getting back to him, back at him was to, or getting even with him, I guess you'd say, was to line it up so that he could have, um, like a shot at Rutgers. Glad they did. Well, that's kind of crazy. They made good music. Yeah, I guess the same type of thing happened with Jay-Z. Hmm. I mean, I can't relate to half the shit they say, not really, but I can certainly appreciate the artistry of it. Mm-hmm. When they thirsties. And if you don't know, then you know, nigga.
What do you think about Puff Daddy? Good rapper or just good mark like marketing man? I think he's probably a better marketing man. Um, mm. Every you you I I would look at his style as a support style. He sucked on his own, but you pair him with certain other talents, and he's fantastic. Hmm. Good call. He's done some good collaborations on his own, though. No, I don't think he's that great. Yeah, I'd, every every song I can't I know think of, of a in, single song. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, every song that I know of a man that I'm like, yeah, that's a good one. He's with someone else, whether it's uh, Notorious B.I.G. to uh, what's his name, Busta Rhymes. You know? Busta Rhymes though is fucking amazing, and has always Show been. Show is like a tribe called Quest was. Just absolutely excellent in every fucking sense of the term, in every single way. Baby, baby. Yeah, that's a God, this is like probably one of the best loot farms I think I've found in any game. Cool. It was a lot of fun. You would you would probably mock it because you're you, but all you do is run in a circle and all these mobs sit and attack each other. Oh yeah. And you just run around blowing them the fuck up with your trusty fucking yellow kick rocket launcher. Because why they hate us? I don't know why they hate us. Is it because our ladies want to drive Mercedes? I don't know. We don't have any ladies. Well, I don't know about you, but, but if I don't. We did. They would want to drive Mercedes. <laughs> I don't know. My daughter's name is Mercedes. That's probably as close as I'll ever get. Oh, that's okay. Well. Not named after the car. Or just, I've always been kind of a gearhead, and uh, Mercedes actually invented the first airplane engine, which was the lead to, you know, having cars. And so I just thought that was a cool name. Plus, Landon's name was supposed to be Atreyu, and huh? Landon's name was supposed to be Atreyu. Uh huh. Like the kid from Never Ending Story. Yeah. And. The whole reason was so that I could make sure his first car was a Mustang and put our tax on the license plate. <laughs> oh, that's great. This was a plan since I was like, you know, in grade school. And his mom decided last minute that she liked Landon better because she'd watch the notebook. Poor kid. Oh, no. Well, you, didn't you get a name as middle name, Atreyu? There you go. No, his middle name's Jay, because oh, okay. my middle name's Jay, my father's middle name is Jay. Yeah, you got enough time in you. Go ahead and go ahead and shoot for another. I got a vasectomy. I'm oh. good. Totally gave up on that life. I got I got one of each, man. So That's good enough for it. me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, you can always just fucking take it. Like, hey, sorry, sorry, little buddy. You know the name that you've yeah. had your whole life? Like, it's gone. Like, here, here's your slave name, and then here's the name that I would have given you. And be like, you choose the one that you want. Oh, bro, but this that's is the one so you have good. to sign papers with. Your slave name is how the government tracks you. <laughs> your true name is this, and you can make it a nice coming of age sort of thing and have some beers with them around a campfire in the backyard. Oh, and, God. And let him know his true name. That's how I found out I was like, Cajun. You realize that? What's that? That's how I found out I was Cajun. No joke. Sitting there having beers with my dad, with my biological father, and I, I don't know, I was drunk, and I was like, hey, why do we like hot sauce so fucking much? <laughs> you know? Because I was like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, I thought we were, like, uh, because most of our families like Finnish and, and French. 
Like, they're not fucking known for that, but, like, we really like hot shit. Like, what? what's the deal here? Like, you know, something's wrong. And then, plus, like, when the summer comes, I always get, like, confused with being a Mexican as soon as I get a tan. Because <laughs> I got, like, I got big ears and a big nose, well, you know what I mean? okay, so, yeah, a tan, a tan white boy in southern Idaho and, gets mistaken for a Mexican dude. <laughs> well, so, okay, so get this, like, uh, for that first summer I got the Harley, right? Like, first week I had that motherfucker. I had somebody, like, some Trump, you know, red hat motherfucker literally, like, pull over at the gas station, and he was like, I can't believe spicks like you are getting this when the rest of us whites are having to work. I just, like, started what? laughing my ass off. Yeah, That's I mean, you, you know how crazy. racist people can get in Idaho, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, but, like, I suppose, yeah. this was fucking hilarious, you know what I mean? I'm like, holy shit. Like, I, I couldn't even say anything. I just sat there laughing, because it was just too fucking funny. I th actually, I think I did a Facebook Live video, because I was just like, this is... This is the greatest thing ever, and you guys are going to never believe what just happened to me. No, I should have. Should have put that shit on Reddit. Hell yeah. And, uh... <laughs> God, that's a good idea. Why didn't I do that? Um, yeah, so I, I get confused with that all the fucking time. But come winter time, dude, I'm as pasty as they get. You know what I mean? You'd swear to God I was like... But my nickname was Casper, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so I was asking him, like, why the fuck do we like hot food and like tan like I do and like rarely ever get a sunburn and like what the fuck is the deal here? You know what I mean? And he's like, Oh well, your grandpa was actually adopted and here's why he was adopted, because remember your great grandma and she was crazy? And I'm like, Yeah. He's like, Well, she was a hooker in Louisiana. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, my my nice little old grandma well, she wasn't very nice, she was mean as fuck, but like, she was old school mean, you know. And, uh, yeah, it ends up she was a hooker. Or a dancer, is what they called them back then. Entertainment. Yeah. In, um, in the French Quarter. Which is, you know, badass. And my great-grandfather was in the army. And on leave and fell in love with the chick on shore kind of a thing. Nice. And so he married her up took her kids that were illegitimate children and raised them as his own. And that's what the Fry last name is. was his last name. That's because cool. back because back then in Idaho, like people would have been judgmental and shit and you know, oh, oh your yeah. kids have a different last name and Yeah. So yeah, it ends up I'm like fucking Cajun Cajun. Which makes so much more sense now because like I'm six three but I'm by far the tallest person in my family. I mean I think uh, the next tallest to me is like five foot nine. You know what I mean? And so I'm just like, oh, well, this totally makes sense then. And it's just because my mom's family's all tall. So, yeah, I don't know why we're going down this memory lane here, but you brought up the campfire stories and it just reminded me, I guess. Sometimes you get to have those little campfire coming of age stories, you know? For real? And then make it all, I would make it super dramatic. Oh, I should, huh? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? That'd be fun. Be hilarious. I should be like, I should be like, so here I am, raised as Hitler's youth, just to find out I'm a person of however many fucking colors were in Louisiana in the, you know, 1920s. Yeah, he's like, it's great, though, because you could be around some people and be like, hey, I'm black. I fucking can't, Dad. That's not how life works. He's like, I've done it. Yeah, you <laughs> I'm like, bro. You can't do that. No. <laughs> it's a different world now, Dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Welcome to this bitch named Shady. Oh my god, dude. This is the best loot farm ever. Damn it, I wish you guys would have played this game with me. You guys, Conan? You, you all are buttholes. I wish you guys would have played this game with me. We'd be <laughs> we'd, our clan would be dominating this server right now. We'd be bending these fuckers over. Because from 5 to 11 p.m. is PvP hours. And most people on the server suck at PvP. There's a couple really good ones, though. 
And there are dragons. I killed a dragon today, too. Yeah, I saw that. That's yeah. pretty rad. There's you stream dragons. It or anything? There's dungeons. What's that? Did you stream it or anything? No. But I cut its head off and I'm going to turn it into a trophy. Good enough for me. And I'm going to hang it outside my base. No, I'm not. I'm hit. My base is hidden. Because I, I, I'm going up against other... Gr so the, the group of gankers have like four or five people in their clan... But only two of them go around ganking. The other two people are just friends of theirs that I guess do... They do all the building. Mm. But we kill them all on sight. KOS those motherfuckers. God damn it, that takes up all my fucking branches. problem with being an archer is that I have to make tons of arrows mm -hmm. which isn't so bad but my bow still loses durability just like a melee weapon so I still have to so to use a bow you have to maintain two resources instead of one with a melee weapon it's kind of lame mm. But you also get the inherent benefit of being able to fuck people up from a distance. So... Uh, yeah. 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 If I make two headshots on somebody, they're dead. Um, but I, I really like... Uh, so I really like opening up with my blunt arrows. And that just drains... That drains down their stamina so they can't do anything. So when they have no stamina and they can't do shit and they're moving hella slow, I hit them with a poison arrow and then an explosion arrow, one after another. Jesus. So the poison arrow makes a green cloud that they're going to sit in for a second uh, because they are they have no stamina so they can't get away. It takes, a little, it takes a little finesse to be able to pull this off. But while they're stuck in that cloud, that's when I switch over to my fire arrow and hit them with that real quick. If they're still standing after all of that, any other arrows that I hit does 25% more damage per negative effect on the person. So if I've got two negative effects on them, we got 50% more damage on attacks that I can stream out just fast as shit. And that's with the bow. God damn. I, I also pack a one-handed axe just in case they get close. Uh, because you can do this move where you throw, you kind of jump, jump charge at them with an axe, and it's really easy to, like, if they have a spear, you'll jump over their spear and hit them. Um, if they are, in, if they're already swinging at you, you'll usually jump over their swing. It's kind of cool. This is the problem with this game. That ah, oh, man. It's just slow. It's so fucking slow. Once it, but then again, I, I didn't have anybody showing me or telling me how to do all this. Mm -hmm. A lot of people on the server have helped me a lot. There's no way I'd be able to get so into this if it wasn't quarantine. No way. I there's. Uh, it would be so hard to play this game casually, I think. Oh, really? Um. Just be, oh, I guess now, the now time I could. Then. Now I could because I, I know how to do it. <laughs> but if you were just learning and starting out, you'd have a. It'd be really frustrating and take a long time if you had nobody to tell you. And you could only play for short periods, you know? Mm hmm. Four, I've got 500 arrows. And that still doesn't feel like enough. I was out there with 300. Fuck. So what sucks is 
for me to be this good with my accuracy and my well my bow and my axe to be able to get him to do what I want him to do I have to sacrifice my ability to carry a lot of weight the bitch about that is that oh, I'm an archer and I have to carry lots of arrows do, do, I, do arrows over encumber you really easily I have five six I've got about 700 regular arrows 30 poison and 16 explosion. And, and that's, that's all I'm, you can I'm carry? Over, I'm, I'm over encumbered with my armor on and my mountaineering hands and boots so that I can get up to my base easily. I, my base is hard to get to. My main base. I did that mm. on purpose. Still nobody's been able to find my base. There's, there's people looking. They don't know where it's at. There's these other. I've, I've pissed off some other groups on here too, but I don't give a fuck about them. I kill them when I see them. They yell at me and get mad. They're like, oh, fuck you, Xana. <laughs> like, don't talk shit then. I don't take their stuff though. Like, I'm, I'm nice like that. Because there's like, there's like server etiquette, right? And there's mm -hmm. some. There's like maybe f four or five really fucking good PvPers at this game. And. That were on this server, and uh, they they usually target people that mistreat like other players. Mm hmm. The white knight. So, a, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Um, they they tend to have the largest settlements on here. I got really good with one of them. He's super nice. His name is Honey Gnome, and he built a base where he has a giant tower that says Beehive. And oh yeah, you showed that massive. to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it all really lit says up and shit. Beehive. Yeah, yeah. This shit's fucking great. This, that guy's helped me out a lot too. I don't know. This, this game, I just got lucky with the community. I think. Except for the gankers. Well, they 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 give a lot of purpose to the game. You know, it's they're the whole reason that I'm fucking like at this point. They're the whole reason I'm playing. Mm-hmm. I've almost, like, uh, this one fucker, his name is Stop. I'm a virgin. I fucking hate him. He's stupid. <laughs> but, um, he's my main target, and I've almost got him. I haven't been able, I haven't, I haven't actually been able to kill him yet. Gotten close. Close ain't half bad. <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, he didn't kill me. He's only killed me the one time. Well, and he camped me for like an hour. So he killed me a lot more than one time, but I don't count all the times that I was naked and unable to get to my corpse. Right. That's what I kept telling him. Telling my last girlfriend that she doesn't blame me. Uh, they were able to break into my base. Well, not break in. I there were spots that I didn't think that somebody could get through, and they still did. New, the new what do you base got? I have. Mm -mm, yeah, no what do you got in the new shit. base? Double um, walls or something? I I built so there's there's tier one through tier four building materials like you like most games like this right mm -hmm. and I have half tier 3 and half tier 4 building materials on this base that's in a tier 1 starting zone or I'm sorry tier 2 zone so the purges don't do any damage to this base mm -hmm. and then I have it very economically set up to <clears> where <throat> I have everything in it and not using a lot of space you cannot see my base from the ground Which is cool, and it's yeah, it's it's like tucked into the cliffs. Nice. It's cool. All right, I think I'm gonna go out there and hunt. Let's do this. I'm gonna bring my saber tooth tiger.
it says. Being prepared. Oh my god, there's so much loot in here. That. You know how I was like on Destiny last night and I was like, well, fuck this shit with that new quest that came out with? Yeah. Like. I wasn't I wasn't alone, man. Like all of Reddit has fucking blown up to the point that Bungie released an official statement saying that they will patch it. Like immediately they're working on a patch. I guess that literally dicks. Yeah, they fucking came out with that shit and everyone was just like, Well, fuck this game now. Like everybody just unanimously was like, nah, this is bullshit. It was dumb as fuck, man. Everybody just got done grinding for three weeks. Grinding the same stupid fucking bounties over and over and over again to try to get one weapon. And it's like, okay, you know, it's new content, so we'll have a little fun with it. It gets repetitive and shit, but oh well. You know what I mean? But to turn around right after it and be like, oh, there's a new quest. And the entire quest is the exact same thing you've been doing the last three weeks, but now you need a whole team. You know? Aww, well, man. what happened? What happened is That's that... Right. Uh, Somebody on For somebody that writes for Forbes, I guess, is like a Destiny fan, and oh, wow. sat and did the math, and realized, look, even if every active player on Destiny were to do this thing, like it would take 188 days to finish it. You only have 26. So they're like, it's oh, wow. not only is it not worth grinding for, it's fucking impossible. Because and, of the way the developer set it up to be yep. to be done. Yeah, and so then so all that's of a sudden, cheesy development is what that. Yeah, is. So all of a sudden, sudden people on Reddit content to you. Right, all of a sudden, all of Reddit was like, "Well, there's only two reasons to do this: either a, the tower is going to get attacked, and they're just trying to make it so that you think you have a chance of fucking, you know, stopping that from happening, even though you don't, because that's like the whole." DLC right now is like you're trying to stop the tower from getting attacked by that big fucking ship that's fallen down, right? And so they're like, either that's what's going on or what's more likely is they just fucking got lazy said, oh, fuck it, we will you know what I mean? We'll, like, like you said, trickle content and make it so that it's like nearly impossible to get so that it, you know, the idiots are just sitting there playing the same fucking shit over and over for the next few weeks until we come up with the next shit. Lame. But either way, like, Reddit blew the fuck up. And, like, it's a big there's, source. Yeah, there's all sorts of people that are just like, you know what? Fuck this. Like, I'm not going to do it because I don't have there's people. There's a lot of other games that are just like Destiny. Right. And they're like, I'm not going to do this because there's no fucking reason to. I don't have other people to play. That's why I don't do the raids. That's why I don't do blah, blah. And then even people that have teams are just like, I'm not going to do this. This is fucking boring. You know what I mean? They're like, we already, re we do the same fucking raids three times a week on all of our different characters. We do the same fucking Iron Banner every time it comes out. We do, you know, the same fucking bounties every fucking time there's new DLC. We do the same well, and here's bounties every day. Mind. Here's something to keep in mind with Destiny. Mm -hmm. It's a free-to-play game. Content does not come out for free-to-play games. It just... It, 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 right, but this is the content that we paid for. This is part of the season pass that they did this with. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. We're not talking. Yeah, we're not. How much was the season pass? 60 bucks. Okay, so technically that's really only one game. Right, but... That's the value. But you remember the DLC that like Jade got pissed off about? Yeah. Essentially, that's what they're doing again. Mm-hmm. Like, just a really little DLC drop, and just basically saying, uh, it'll, it'll keep people happy for a minute. For and people a are very like, short time. Until yeah, and people are like, again no. Again. Yeah, because that's what happens to the free-to-play model. Mm -hmm. The only, the only, there's only one successful free-to-play game out there, and it's Warframe. Mm -hmm. There are no other, there's plenty of other free-to-play games, yes. But none are... Um, I would not say successful, not near to the extent that is... Warframe. Not like Warframe, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I don't get it, to be honest with you. Hmm, yeah. 
I'm I'm glad that I wasn't like just being bitchy or whatever though when I read that shit. Well, and what we're what what this is showing us is the the business model of profits over people because they're choosing to make profits to the greatest extent to the point of to where it just won't make it any profits anymore they'd rather kill it than make a steady revenue stream Mm -hmm. and they are willing to sacrifice creativity and ingenuity for profits if the game was good as is they could charge double the price for their DLC if it was worth it the problem mm-hmm. is it's just not worth it right not even that they, they could almost probably charge a subscription if it was worth it but it's just not <laughs> oh, fuck why do I have 40 honey on me god damn it that's what's slowing me down son of a bitch can't be the shadow of the desert if you got 40 honey in your pocket and it's slowing you down. I mean, that's not helping you. It's definitely not helping. Damn it. I don't want to... Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just eat it. And then I'll put... in the exile desert right now Go the exile river up. actually I'm pretty sure I've got night. more exotics on the ground than I can even carry at this point in this game <laughs> Yeah, that game's just constantly triggering RNG for loot. Mm-hmm. The story of it's really cool. I like that aspect that your friends can jump in and help you on your story. Yeah, you gotta get further in the fucking story. Like Jesse last night finally finished the. He did the main story. Call it the yeah. main story, yeah, the campaign. Yeah. And he was just like immediately. He was like, "How good is the DLC?" And I was like, "Well, if you like that, then you like the DLC." He was like, "Okay, I'm gonna mm-hmm. buy it." I'm like, well, wait for it to go on sale. Do some side quests and shit. Like, yeah. you should have bought it last week or whatever when it was on sale. You know what I mean? This isn't a uh, new game. Like, because I think the DLC, the season pass, is like 60 bucks now. Oh, jeez. You know what I mean? Well, it was only 30 bucks last week because it was on sale. But this isn't a brand new game, is what I was getting at, you know? I was like, fucking, wait a minute, buy it on sale. Like, there's plenty of fucking story content that you can still do like side quests and shit oh yeah there's still that, plenty to it yeah i was like you you know like he's not even up at max level yet and shit but now that i'm doing this like i kind of now i'm kind of double thinking that because i'm like oh fuck if you guys buy that dlc and you can do this i could probably power level you guys up in like an hour and have you at max level <laughs> You would definitely have all the weapons and shit you needed. Give me that sweet fucking loot, Josie. Wow.
Man, that is the benefit of having a better display. Dude, I can see so fucking far in this game, and I just saw a guy running across the desert, and I highly doubt that he saw me up on the mountain looking at him. Yeah. I, mean, I already know I can hit him with an arrow. I've already the killed people from a way far off distance. But yeah, that's... Oh, that's awesome. Berserkers here. Who is this? Eternal Warriors. What guild is Eternal Warriors? I don't know that clan. A lot more of little nub huts back here than I thought. Oh, this is by Arcazo. Holy shit, that's a big ass fucking base. Has so much stone. Holy moly. If I rule the world. Yeah, start them jams back up, man. Put on something cool, Andrew. Let's see. Transplants? Oh my god, dude. Are you, like, crazy busy right now in your game? Um, I'm out in the open in PvP. What's up? Oh, if you're in PvP. I was say, you should put on my stream really quick so you can see this fucking room. It's, it's like, downright ridiculous. <laughs> How much fucking loot is on the floor. <laughs> oh. Huh. You down there can't even go anywhere without seeing orange little sh streaks going up in the air.
<laughs> Who that? Who that? Oh, it's just us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You kind of scared me when you did that. Go quiet. Shit. Well, I. All right, I gotta see if I can pick all this shit up now. I'm PVPing. Come on, no more needle guns. The potent nukem. That's any good. Ah, <sighs> oh, God damn it.
Alright, well, I'm going to step away for a moment. Let myself smoke, myself 